Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today it is my absolute pleasure to bring you the very first dealer review of the all new 2022 Alpha Wolf by Forest River model 28 FK. This particular trailer is a dual slide front kitchen and it comes in about 6,700 pounds and it's gonna be about 32 and a half feet in overall length. We're gonna do an interior and exterior walk around tour today and talk about some of the cool features on this great couples trailer. Um, now this one is a really neat offset to their 26 RK or uh, Oh, the uh, 26 RL it's a good compliment it gives you a little bit more storage than both of those and it's their first trailer with a bed slide in the Alpha Wolf family so stick around this is by no means gonna be a quick tour because there's a lot to cover and let's go ahead and dive right in so when we walk into this one this is kind of an unconventional front kitchen layout and the reason that I say that is you don't often get a big U dinette in a front kitchen. You see a lot of ones with freestanding table and chairs, and you see a lot of uh, units with just a dinette or just a sofa or theater seats or you know. But you don't often get a big U shaped dinette like this. And by the what I mean by big is this is a full seven foot U dinette, and it's kind of a nice change from some of the other front kitchens that I've seen out there. Next to that, you are going to have a jackknife sofa. This is the standard seating arrangement we're seeing today. There is a theater seat option available, and we do have one ordered with that. So uh, when that one comes in, I will make sure and update the footage. That way you can see both options. If we look in the slide outs, you notice you see nice big windows. I've got the zebra shades pulled down for video quality purposes because the sun is just screaming in those windows this morning. And you can see you do have the accent light there. It is a neon blue and I know some people don't like it. And if you don't like it, you can turn it off. Um, if we kind of spin back around over here, and we have a seat on the sofa, you're directly across from the entertainment center. So we've opted to add a 40 inch TV to this one. TVs are not standard, they're an optional piece of equipment, but in a couples trailer like this, we felt that it was the right move to go ahead and add the TV. I know there's some dealers that don't do TVs just because you can get a smart TV or whatever, but I think when, when you're getting a more of a higher end trailer like this, you're gonna want the TV. Down below that, you're gonna have your eight, eight, or oh my gosh, I can't talk this morning. AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system. And that will control the interior and exterior speakers and has HDMI and USB ports. That way, if you wanna hook up a DVD player, you can. And then you've got the electric space heater this is a 5200 BTU electric fireplace. Um, now, a note on that, a lot of people ask if they can heat the entire coach with that. The answer is no. What you really want to do is if it's cool like it is this morning, you know, where it's about 45, 50 degrees, that's going to be more than enough. But if it's going to hard freeze, and what I mean by that is dip below freezing, you really want to turn on your propane furnace. This will help the furnace not run as much but you really don't want to try to heat the coach with just that. It's, it's not going to pump air into the underbelly or anything like your, your furnace would. <clears throat> if we kind of take a preview of the kitchen, this, this is just great. Um, it, you've got tons of space, tons of storage. And that's the thing I think a lot of people are really going to like about this one. And uh, we'll take a look at that here in just a couple minutes uh, in a little more depth because that's what you're buying a, a front kitchen for is really the kitchen space. Uh, but before we do, I do want to mention that our Alpha Wolf has a standard 15,000 BTU air conditioner. So you don't have to pay extra 
to opt for that. And if we look down at the floor here, you'll notice that you don't see any heat vents. They're all cabinet ducted heating. So that's going to make it really easy to clean and a lot of people really like that. You do have a little bit of carpet in the slide out. I wish they would change that. Let me know what you would change in the comment section down below. And then lastly, if we come over here, you'll notice this is where your control panels are located. So you've got your water heater on electric switch, your voltage meter for the juice pack, and we'll talk a little bit more about that on the outside, your AC uh, thermostat and furnace thermostat, uh, the one control hotspot prep, which is basically prep to add a router to this so you can get 4G LTE Wi-Fi wherever you want to go. And then you do have a control panel down here. Now this is the new smart control panel and the cool thing about this, this does have a motion sensor light so it'll light up whenever you walk in the door. You also are going to have your slide out awning controls, all your lighting controls, water pump, water heater on gas, and all your tank monitoring panels are uh, right there as well. The cool thing about this is you can Bluetooth this to your phone via the LCI One Control app and you can do anything that panel will do. So you can run your slide outs, you can check your tanks, turn on your water pump, turn on your water heater. It's a really neat addition, plus that QR code uh, up here, that is for the LCI Insight backup camera system that uh, this trailer comes equipped with standard. And I'll talk a little bit more about how that works on the outside, but you can Bluetooth that to your phone as well. So, okay guys, that's... It's it, apparently I still can't talk today. This has such a different living area for a front kitchen. I kind of like it, um, and it's I like that they did they didn't just do this same floor plan that everybody is doing, or the same two floor plans. They kind of spiced it up with the Alva Wolf touch, and I think that's really evident in the kitchen. So let's go open up all this storage and take a look at the kitchen in a little more detail. So I think the storage really starts and it really gets going right inside the entry door. So if we come over here, you've got a nice pantry and coat closet. And this is the biggest pantry in the Alpha Wolf lineup. So as we kind of come and take a look in here, you'll notice that this is super wide and it's super deep. Usually you get one or the other. And I love that they left the floor completely open. So if you have some big cases of water or soda, or if you want to, you know, set the dog bowls in here out of the way or something, you can. You're also going to have a couple little coat racks. So uh, that way you can hang up some coats right inside the door. The storage continues into the slide out. So if we take a look underneath the sofa here, you have a nice big trunk storage space right there. Perfect for some things that you want to take with you, but you don't need all the time. You are going to have two of these 40 inch deep dinette drawers. I just have the one open that way I don't trip over that second one because I am very liable to uh, since I am kind of clumsy. I love that, changing the subject, uh, I love that Alpha Wolf and Arctic Wolf darkened up their slide fascia. It just gives it a nice offset to the rest of the trailer. I also would like to see on this floor plan in particular a window there. It just needs that extra little bit of light, I think. Um, again, let me know what you would change down in the comment section down below. So if we start over here and take a look at the countertop space. I love that handy window there. You're gonna have household and USB outlets right there, easy to get to, perfect corner for a coffee maker or toaster oven, whatever you have. If we kind of get a little closer here, you'll notice that you have two more household outlets, four more USB plugs. So you have three sets of those up here, perfect for phone chargers coffee makers, blenders, toasters, whatever you want to put up there. Um, we'll take a look at the sink here in just a minute. But I want to start up top here. 
So I wish these were on struts, but if we look in there, you'll notice that you've got a good amount of storage. It goes back there quite a ways. It goes all the way across. And I'll go ahead and open up this one as well. So as you can see back in there, it goes all the way across. And I know somebody's gonna ask this, why they didn't continue the cabinets here, but really it's because if they did, you would not have an ability to open this. Handy cubby hole there. Perfect for some other items. You can have a microwave hood range uh, vent and light above there as well. And then back here you've got the dual purpose cutting board and backsplash. I love that and a lot of customers do as well. Three burner cooktop with the glass cover and then you've got the oven down below in case you want to do some banking or baking not banking baking uh cool thing with that oven you do have uh this left knob here will spark inside of the oven as well as spark the burners which is a very nice touch you are going to have the hand sanitizer station and the high-rise spring-loaded industrial style faucet with that gorgeous black stainless steel sink down below and all this is pressed membrane thermofoil style countertops. Now, Alpha Wolf, if you're, if you're watching this video, please start doing this with the rest of your floor plans. Look at how big this counter or this space back here is. It's a lot bigger than what you normally get. You can actually fit a waste basket back in there. Um, I love that. It has to be a small waste basket. I get it. But it's better than what they normally do with that stuff stupid panel next to that you are going to have four full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers these go all the way to the floor and then you have another good amount of storage space over there perfect for some of those pots and pans all right guys last thing before we jump back to the master suite you do have the 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge this particular one today is an ever chill brand they usually use a cannon but as you can see there you have if the doors aren't going to close on me but you do have tons of space here this will run off of these solar panels um, that are already up onto the roof you have this handy little travel lock here as well that way these the refrigerator isn't going to come open during transit and the nice thing about this is you can run this going down the road. You can't do that in a lot of states with a gas electric fridge, which is why most RV manufacturers are going to this fridge. All right, guys. So if you thought this was impressive, just wait till you see the bedroom and bathroom. It is just amazing. It really is. You definitely want to stay around and uh, stick around and take a look at this because I tell you, the bedroom is just it's one of the best executed bedrooms I have ever seen. Let's go take a look at the bathroom, then we'll save the bedroom for last. So Alpha Wolf uses this style of bathroom on a lot of their trailers. This is very similar to the 26RK bathroom or the 26RL bathroom, just a little bit smaller. And I like that it's simple. And sometimes, you know, something doesn't have to be super fancy to be effective. So as we look down here, you do have a nice porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of room around there. You're going to have a pocket door to separate off the master bedroom from the bathroom. Nice thermofoil style countertops. Giant sink. I love that you can actually get adult hands in there, which is nice. GFI protected outlet. And that handy motion sensor light down there is a nice touch. You are going to have nice storage underneath there for some extra toilet paper or things like that. And then you are going to have a medicine cabinet up over here. If we look up top, you do have the Max Air fan. That's a staple of the Cherokee lineup, which is very nice. And rounding out the bathroom, you do have a giant radius shower. This is the big one. You can be upwards of 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 and still shower in there comfortably. And you do have that nice skylight up top, and if we kind of pan back up and I'll try to do it slow to not make you motion sick 
But I love the placement of this. They did that so well because it's right over the shower head. And I think that's where a lot of people are going to stand. They're not necessarily going to stand way back here by the glass doors. And I'm trying to not show you the bedroom just yet until I can get in there. But as we step into the master bedroom, this is just awesome. Again, this is our Alpha Wolf's first bed slide travel trailer. So as we take a look here, you do have a 60 by 74 inch camper queen. Now I'm not sure yet if you can put a 60 by 80 inch mattress on here and still close the slide out. I'll have to do some measuring uh, to double check on that. If we take a look at some of the details, you notice a nice window above the bed there for some extra cross breeze. That is an emergency egress window, so if you ever need to get out, that's where you do it. And then again, they spend a little extra money here. If we take a look here, you do have the side stands, and this one is king capable. So if you do want to put a king size bed in here, you can. And then, I love this, they spent some extra money here, as, as I said previously. But you've got household and USB outlets for each side stand on both sides of the bed. Very few manufacturers actually do that. And just for the sake of completion, there you go. There's the other ones. I love this big rear window here. And you can see that dark spot in the middle. That it tells you that this window does open. You do have pleated night shades on the bedroom windows. If we look up top here, this little junction box here, that is for your 50 amp service and second AC prep. So you can add a second AC up here if you need to. I don't know that it needs it, but it's there if you do. And then back over here, you do have cable and uh, power. So if you want to mount a TV, that's where that would go. Uh, I would put that on a swing arm mount myself, but when you, when you buy it, it's your camper, do whatever you want. There is storage under the bed as well. And we'll come back to that closet here in just a minute. But you do have a second entry door here. So the cool thing about this is this trailer maintains 100% travel access. So you can, with the slide outs closed, you can get to the bathroom. You can get to the refrigerator. You can get to the pantry. It's really good design by Alpha Wolf to make all that happen. And so many times in a bedroom slide or a dual slide trailer, you don't get that. Over here, you are going to have a nice chunk of closet space. I mean, just look at that. that thing, this closet is huge. And I love that it's nice and tall, too. They pretty much copy this from Rockwood for this cabinet and bedroom arrangement. And, hey, R&D in, R &D in this industry stands for rip off and duplicate, not research and development. So that, that's kind of a... Uh, I was kind of expecting that. If you would look down here, you do have three full extension plywood box, ball bearing, drawer guided drawers. Really good addition to the bedroom. I wish they would put these in every one of their bedrooms. And then over here, you do have an extra cabinet there. Now, a lot of people are going to be asking, is this washer dryer capable? And the answer is no. Alpha Wolf does not prep any of their travel trailers yet. For washer dryer and I'd be curious would you like to see a combination washer dryer spot in this cabinet and sacrifice a little bit of storage let me know down in the comment section below I'd be kind of curious to see with that being said guys you also have a door to get out here into the bedroom or into the living room from the bedroom but let's go ahead now we'll circle around the outside take a look at that let me know what you think I'm really curious to know so, all right, guys, we're back on the outside of this 28FK by Alf Wolf. So, as we start up here on the front, you are going to have a nice three-quarters fiberglass front cap, diamond plate rock guard down below, and you're going to have some LED accent lights in there. I always forget to turn on. <laughs> that drives me crazy when I forget little lights like that. Power tongue jack up here, and you have your seven-way plug holder and safety chain holder as well two 20 pound propane tanks and you're going to have a standard 27 group battery that's part of your juice pack and uh, 
This one also is gonna have the juice pack expansion kit on it as well, which is an extra 100 watt panel, giving you a total solar capacity or total solar panel size of 150 watts. As we come around over here, you are gonna have all your hookups up here on the front, and that is a little different you lose out on a cabinet on the inside and you don't really have a full pass-through storage but i'll talk a little bit more about that here in a minute you are going to have an outside utility shower extra light for your hookup area this is so handy i wish more manufacturers would do that six gallon gas electric hot water heater with dsi spark ignition and then you are going to have your fresh water city water black tank flush cable and satellite hookups all right here easy to get to I'm kind of shocked the black tank flush is up there to be completely honest with you though. These on it or these slide outs are slide awning ready. So if you want to add one, you can definitely do that. And actually, underneath here, there is your fresh tank drain. Notice it has the uh, the gate valve just like your other holding tanks, which is nice. And then you're also going to have your gray tank for the kitchen up underneath there as well. Sorry guys, we're kind of packed in here a little bit. But as we come in between the slide outs, you are gonna have your 50 amp service, good looking aluminum wheels. And then right here, and I love that they didn't put this under the slide out, you have your black and your gray tank dumps. And so many times with front kitchens or really any trailer that has a lot of slides on the off camp side, they're gonna put them under a slide out, it never fails. So kudos Alpha Wolf for not putting those under the slide out. I absolutely love that. Great job. Another thing I'm kind of curious about, let me know, would you would you like to see an extra baggage door underneath the bed? I, I'd be curious to see how many people want that. Um, Cause you, can, you still can get to the storage underneath the bed from the inside, but would you like a little more storage on the outside? Let me know down in the comment section down below. This also does have the rear cargo rack. That is an optional piece of equipment that's rated at 200 pounds before the spare tire. So uh, just budget your weight accordingly. And then if we look up top, you do have the LCI InSight backup camera system. That is an in-motion camera too, which is pretty nice. I have noticed that it doesn't have the refresh rate as the regular Furion, but it still works going down the road. Coming around onto the campsite, you have a nice size power awning that does have some LED strip lighting in that as well. You'll notice both doors have the triple step Moride step above steps. I wish this back one would have the larger grab handle, but that's something you can always do aftermarket. That's, you know, real easy with a screwdriver. This is another optional piece of equipment. We have optioned this with the power stabilizer jacks. So no hand cranking, those are just push button easy. Now those are not leveling jacks. Those are for stabilization only. As we come up in here, you'll notice that you do have two outside speakers, cable and 110 power for an outside TV. And then if you wanna add a TV, you have the mounting bracket already there to do that. If we look up underneath the trailer, you'll notice that you do have a fully enclosed and forced air heated underbelly, which is a very nice addition. Uh, coupled that with the two inch thick sidewalls, like a big Montana fifth wheel, you're gonna have some really good extended and four season use out of these Alpha Wolves. We've noticed that they're some of the best insulated travel trailers out there. Um, we typically don't have very many problems with these freezing up in the winter time, which is nice. Coming up front, you are going to have a leash latch. That way you can tie up your fur babies. There's the front jack controls for your two front jacks. And then that little white tag there at the bottom, kind of left center of your screen, is for a propane quick connect. So if you want to add an outside grid, you can. Lastly, with this being a front kitchen, you don't get a ton of pass-through storage. That's just the nature of front kitchens. But you still have a 
decent amount of storage in here. Uh, pardon the spare tire cover and stuff. We get all that installed for you uh, when you take it home. But if we look at some of the details, you've got a handy battery disconnect, a handy motion sensor light, and then that black box is your solar charge controller, which is a very nice addition. Easy to get to, easy to service. These do have magnetic hold backs and slam latches, as you can see there. Lastly, pardon me, Alpha Wolf does have a PVC roof on it. That's gonna reflect about 40% more UV rays, which is gonna keep the attic between the interior wall panel that you see and the 3 8 inch fully walkable roof deck about 15 degrees cooler than a TPO or EPDM roof. And that has a 20 year defect warranty from the roof material manufacturer, which is a very, very good warranty. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the 28 FK by Alpha Wolf. Let me know what you thought about this down in the comment section below. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like, what you'd change, what you would keep the same. Um, we would really like that feedback and we pass all of the feedback that we get from these videos onto the manufacturer and your feedback can change these RVs. If, they, if enough people say the same thing, they'll change it. And I, I love that about the Cherokee group. If you have any questions, or if you'd like pricing and availability of this unit, please feel free to give me a call at 806-335-2336. You can also shoot me an email at contact at custom-rv.com, or you can leave any of those questions down in the comment section down below. As always guys, at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave that up to the big chain dealers, and we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. We thank you very much for watching. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button down below. That really helps us with the YouTube, uh, YouTube, YouTube algorithm, and uh, we would greatly appreciate it. And please, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell. That will help keep you up to date on all of our new content that we have coming for you. And believe me, we've got a whole bunch of cool stuff coming, uh, like this 28FK from Alpha Wolf. With that being said, guys, we hope that you enjoyed. We hope to see you out on a lot very soon. And have a wonderful rest of your day, guys.